Good morning. I'm Calvin Price, the pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi. And I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I want to turn your attention to Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 1. And I'm reading out of the New King James Version. It says, You shall not sacrifice to the Lord your God a bull or sheep which has any blemish or defect. For that is an abomination to the Lord your God. It is important to give our best. And one of the things that God has required from his people was that they give their best. In the Old Testament, sometimes people would give a lesser animal. They would give one that had a defect or a blemish to God. And God required that they give their very best. It developed a pattern in their life. Once we develop a habit of giving our best, it will direct our entire life and it will benefit our entire life, our work, our, everything that we do, it will benefit that. And then we might wonder, well, we're not under a sacrificial system any longer. No, we're not. But Colossians 3.23 says that anything that we do, we should do it as though we're doing it unto God. And so the writer of Colossians, Paul, is referring back to the Old Testament. God required the best from the people in the Old Testament, and Paul reminds them that we are to give our best to God, that we're to do every task that we do as though we're doing it for God. I know and you know people, we've worked with people or been associated with people that would not do their best. When they would start something, they may not finish it. When they would do something, they may finish it, but it would not be very good. And unfortunately, it would cause someone else twice the work because someone would have to go behind them and straighten out what they've done. But when we learn to give our best, it demonstrates something about who we are. It speaks loudly about the character that we have and that we possess. It also speaks loudly of the God that we serve. And sometimes when we give our best, it is kind of a difficult thing. It is hard. But when we give our best, we will never regret giving our best. Those who give their best will accomplish great things for God and in this world. I want to challenge you today to give your very best to God, to give your very best to your family, to give your very best in all that you do. Give your best because it demonstrates who you are, and people will come to know you by that. If you give your best, people will say things like, they are dependable, I can count on them, and that is the way that we should be known. Unfortunately, if you don't give your best, people will say things like, you can't depend on them, or they will hover over you constantly when they ask you to do something because they know that you won't complete it or do it well. Give your best and be known as a person that can be counted on. Demonstrate that to everyone that you encounter. Even in a menial task, give your best. The smallest things make a huge difference in all that we do and how we serve. I encourage you today, my friends, if you're frustrated, still give your best. If you feel that it's not in your job description, still give your best. If you feel that, well, it doesn't really excite you to do something, still give your best because you know that giving your best is a reflection of who you are as a person and a child of God. Please know this, my friends, that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you and I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, help us today to give our best in all that we do. We want to shine forth as people, as a person who can be counted on, who can be trusted, and I pray that we will give our best, we will pay attention to details, and we will focus on the important things, and that we will just simply do everything that we do as though we're doing it unto our God. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Until we meet again, my friends, God bless you.